Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Jack's Mechanics. We're back, um, 2024, first day back at work, and got to check engine light already, and it's on a Mazda 3. It's running a bit rough. The idle was around 500, just a bit more. Um, I took it for a test drive, a test drive. we've already gave, given it a service, and I noticed that it smelt very rich coming through the tailpipe. Um, but yeah. That's all we know so far. Just loading up the scan. So I feel we're going to be getting, based off the smell, PO 174. But we'll see. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. New Year's. Trouble codes. I have a control system RPM lower than expected. All right. Well, yeah, that's definitely for sure. Let's see. Just let it settle down. I might pull it into drive. Feels all right at the moment. Yeah, but essentially when we first got into it, it was, you know, not misfiring, but it was definitely low on low idle. Just let that run. Bring up some data. Tell you what, it's a bit hot today. Put this aircon on. Hopefully, it's not too noisy for you guys. Yeah, well, that seemed to have an effect on it, putting the aircon on. Idle's pretty rough right now. 500 RPM. I mean, I guess potentially we might just be dealing with a dirty throttle body here. Um, bank 2, obviously not doing too much at the moment. Uh, sorry, bank 1 sensor 2 is what I meant to say. Uh, EQ ratio, so this is our wideband sensor up the front. You want it to be about pretty much 1.00 being 1 lambda, which is sort of close enough. The current you want pretty low as well. It's sort of all over the place, which I guess is to be expected when um, when we have you know an issue with the idle trying to do its thing. Calculated load is at forty three percent. Sounds like quite a lot. It went all the way up to, oh, that was when we started at 58. Looks like somebody possibly had a look at this over the Christmas break. We had about three weeks off, so 13 warm-ups, uh, 16 warm-ups since the DTCs were done. Yeah. Absolute throttle is 14%. Yeah, that calculated load seems to be a bit high for me. So what I think we might do, based off the fuel trims being good, and uh, can't really find too much else other than the load PID. Obviously our commanded EQ is looking good, um, where it should be. Uh, airflow. Uh, I think I think this is a 2.3 liter or a 2 liter with the aircon on. 
um, it's probably a bit low general rule of thumb you want one gram per liter of capacity and uh, all right yeah I think we will just pull the throttle uh, the intake tube off off the throttle body and have a look at that throttle plate and if it's dirty we'll give that a bit of a clean up I'll just pull that apart so just before I jumped out I was putting the window down um, and I realized well I just noticed that the auto switch wasn't working um, which could be a sign of like a battery disconnection or maybe a battery gone flat uh, which would reset that throttle plate and obviously put it back into where that carbon buildup has um, occurred over the years so if that's what we're looking at maybe we I'll quiz the custom, customer and find out exactly but um, yeah something to take note of just little things and trying to join the dots together um, so looks like we've possibly got a new battery may it's hard, a bit hard to say it looks sort of new but also doesn't look new it's an RAC battery so they definitely don't keep the power in the car when they change the batteries out so that would obviously reset the throttle plate being adaptive um, for those of you that don't know cars are adaptive so when you get throttle build up, uh, carbon build up on the throttle plate like this the uh, ECU expects to see you know obviously a certain amount of airflow and when it realizes things are going wrong it will open up that throttle plate a little bit more to bypass that so obviously in looking in here quite a bit of build up all that black stuff just bypassing the air filter and then getting obviously built up around the throttle plate so we'll give that a good clean out and we'll put this back together and uh, see where we where we sit but yeah it looks like we might be on the money with that one so essentially what we're gonna do is probably get the apprentice in here um, it's pretty much a two-person job it can be one person if you have tooling but two people makes it a lot easier he's gonna go in the car he'll key it up put his foot flat on the accelerator that should open the throttle plate and then we'll spray some carby clean toothbrush give that a clean out and then give it a, a dry out with a rag and then put it all back together we are going to log math codes um, intake air temp sensor codes because that's obviously disconnected when you turn the key on being electric and uh, yeah, we'll give that a nice clean up sometimes what you can do if this doesn't open um, you can pull it into drive at the same time and then that will cause that to open as well so we'll give that a clean up and um, we'll have a little before and after and then we'll have a look at the data again okay so All that carbon's cleaned off. Looks a lot better. You can see where that carbon was sitting. So now we have so much more air bypass. So if you want to see how to clean the throttle body properly, we do have other videos on the channel. This is what we use. Carby clean. Um, spray it. Scrub it. Obviously with the throttle plate open. Once you've scrubbed it, dry it with a brand new rag and uh, yeah reassemble it it will start up a bit rough obviously it's trying to run on the carby clean and all of that sort of fun stuff so we'll put this back together and uh, check out idle again starting it up for the first time obviously starting pretty rough Give it a couple of RPMs. Oh, it's all normal stuff.
pull into drive. <clears throat> Just reloading up the code scan. No, sorry, the the live data. And obviously we have the aircon on, recreating the same thing. And straight away the RPM's looking a lot better. Sitting up 750, it's, you know, uh, up 200 RPM, which is a lot. At idle, that's for sure feels a lot better so our engine speed obviously like I say 700 ish I believe our relative throttle when it's come down a bit we'll have to go back in and have a look Airflow is sitting at around three and before, so three at the very minimum. So it's obviously going to, you're going to have more airflow when the aircon's on. Um, and before I think it was a bit between like two and three. Now it's between like three and four point seven. So essentially, this is where aircon's on, aircon off, aircon on, aircon off, aircon on. Not too worried. I mean, that was the, obviously the rear sensor wasn't doing much before, but and now it obviously is looking pretty normal. Um, again, wide band looking pretty good. Car feeling good. It's our load sensor. So calculated load still pretty high up there. Uh, calculate load, absolute load. Hmm. Feel like the absolute load is a bit less. We can go back and look. But either way, seems to be fixed here. We'll go back to the top. Look at our engine speed. Feels a lot better. Relative throttle position between two and four. Alright, let's go back at the other have a look at the other one. What I might do, I'll just clear the data. Put this engine light out of it. Sorry, I went into the wrong thing. If you guys are struggling with the speed of your scan tool, um, obviously all these saved files are taking up um, data, so you can clear those out if you're not using them anymore. Um, Obviously the very old ones you're probably not using, but maybe keep the last 50. Yeah, so our relative throttle was obviously a little bit higher. Um, so we brought it back down and it's idling better as well. So you know, this issue prob possibly would have fixed itself um, with more driving, but you know, still not right. Eventually, there's a, they only allow so much uh, correction of the throttle plate. Yeah, so the airflow is quite low, 2.2. Not sure why it jumped up to 5 there, makes it a bit hard to see, but you know, around here is 3. So, what did we have before between 3 and 4, I believe, with the aircon on? And that's sort of between 2 and 3, so definitely seem to be struggling a bit.
So the absolute load, uh, they're pretty similar. I think the absolute load might have come down a little bit. But as we can see, the idle is nice and steady. It feels nice in the car. Uh, we're in neutral, put it back into drive. Aircon on. She's fixed. So, there you go, guys. Uh, I don't even know what the code was. P0546 or something like that. Vehicle history. Should have saved it. Yeah, Mazda. This is probably the same as any other. Oh, I didn't save it. Um, same as any other bloody throttle plate code. You're probably going to want to look at a dirty throttle plate trying to join the lots I'll go and quiz the customer um, on the battery and uh, yeah it doesn't really matter I guess at the end of the day we fixed the car dirty throttle plate what caused it I'll find out it doesn't really matter that much to you guys but um, yeah if you do have a battery disconnect this possible thing can happen so Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you got anything out of it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.